Good morning dear students today let us take a look at a question from the book 200 puzzling problems in physics the reason i like this question is the question is short the solution is also short and this is a real life application that you see on a, a weekend basis and also there is a very high chance of making mistake in this question so let us first analyze the question the height difference between the top and bottom of a downward moving escalator is h equal to 20 meters so the height difference between the top and bottom this height difference is 20 meters a mischievous boy of mass m equal to 50 kg runs up from the bottom to the top so this is a mischievous boy of mass 50 kg and he runs to the top notice that the escalator is moving down okay and this boy is running towards the top okay so he runs relative to the steps that is one and a half times their translational speed so if the steps are moving down with speed u then this boy here is moving up with speed u by 2 okay so this is with respect to the ground he is moving with speed u by 2 he has given here with respect to the steps it is one and a half times u so with respect to the ground it will be u by 2 find the work done by the boy and explain how it is accounted for so what is the work done by this boy when he goes from here to here so let us have a look at the schematic so we can see that the steps are coming down with speed u and this boy is going relative to the ground upwards with speed u by 2 before going into the solution of this problem uh, what i will do is i'll take different cases and in each case i will calculate the work done by this boy so i'll take two cases before going into the problem calculate the work done by this boy and finally we will move on to the question the reason i'm doing this is it will be very easy for you to understand the final solution the first case is escalator moves up with speed u and the boy moves with escalator now we need to find the work done by this boy when he moves from the bottom to the top so let us have a look at a schematic for this case so he is just moving on the escalator uh, with the escalator let us take a look at a free body diagram of the boy here what are the forces acting on this boy so i have removed the railings the other parts here so that you can concentrate on the free body diagram the forces acting on this boy this is a force mg which is acting on the boy in the downward direction and this is a normal reaction n which is acting on the boy in the upward direction as this boy is moving up with uniform speed we can say the net force on him is zero or n minus mg equals to zero or n equals to mg so the normal reaction and mg force are equal in magnitude let us take the bottom point as a and the top point as b if i write the work energy theorem between a and b for this boy we can write the work done by the boy plus work done by the normal reaction plus work done by mg equals to change in kinetic energy the change in kinetic energy is zero because this boy is moving with uniform speed the work done by the normal reaction is mg into 20 the work done by mg is minus mg into 20 so finally we can say that the work done by the boy is zero or if you are just standing on the escalator and moving up the work done by you is zero let us now look at case 2 a 
In case 2, the escalator moves down with speed u and the boy moves up with respect to escalator with speed u. So if we see from ground frame, this boy will be at rest. So let us have a look at the schematic. So now in this case, we need to find the work done by the boy. So let us have a look at the free body diagram. So this is a free body diagram for case 2. The gravitational force mg is acting downwards and normal force is acting upward. I want you to have a look at the schematic here, how these forces are changing when this boy is climbing on the stairs. As the boy is at rest, we can say n minus mg equal to 0 or the normal reaction force equals to mg. So these both forces are equal in magnitude. Next from work energy theorem, we can write work done by the boy plus work done by normal reaction plus work done by mg equals to 0. The change in kinetic energy is 0, so the net work done is 0. As there is no displacement of force mg, the work done by mg is 0, the normal reaction the work done is non-zero and the work done is negative. Okay, So why? Let us again see the schematic. So you see the point of application is moving down. The force is upward. So the work done by the normal reaction is negative. And we can conclude that the work done by the boy is positive from this equation. And so that is why even though this boy is not actually moving, he's in the same place, he still gets tired because the work done by him is positive. Let us move on to case 3 which is the question. In this the escalator moves down with speed u okay, and the boy moves up with respect to the escalator with speed 1.5 u which means with respect to the ground he is going up at speed u by 2. Now we need to find the work done by the boy when he moves from a to b the height difference between these two points is 20 meters. Let us first have a look at the schematic in this case. Let us now look at the free body diagram for case 3 which is the question. Let us now look at the free body diagram. As we have seen earlier, this is a downward force mg and this is the normal reaction on the boy. So let us look at the visualization in this case. So initially the boy is at A and finally he is at B. So first let us see the work done by mg. The work done by mg is minus mg into 20. mg is acting downward. The displacement of the boy is upward. So minus mg into 20. Suppose it takes time t for the boy to reach to the top. Then work done by the normal reaction equal to negative mg times u cos theta into t. You can see here that the normal reaction force is pointing upward. But as the step is moving downward, this point of contact is always moving downward with speed u. So it is moving this side with speed u. So the power supplied by the normal reaction force will be normal reaction into u cos theta. Okay. And the total work done will be the power multiplied by time. So this is the expression that you will get for work done by normal reaction. Next, as the boy is moving up with speed u by 2, what we can say is u by 2 cos theta, the vertical component of velocity into the total time equals to 20, which is the vertical displacement. From work energy theorem, we can say work done by all the forces equal to 0 as the speed of the boy does not change. Work done by mg is minus 20 mg, which we can get from here. Work done by normal reaction is minus 40 mg. We had got u by 2 cos theta is into t as 20. 
So u cos theta into t is 40. So this will be minus mg into 40. So work done by normal reaction is minus 40 mg. So finally the work done by the boy is 30,000 joules. See where you can make a mistake in this question is you would have ignored the work done by the normal reaction. This is where there is a scope of making mistake. Okay. So if you could understand this one, then you have understood this problem. So I will leave here and let us again meet in the next video.